What's up, guys? One of our viewers asked a question I thought you would appreciate the answer. Miss Adria says, you spoke about losing the last 10 pounds or so in my list video and preserving muscle you've worked so hard to build. What if you're just fat and just starting out, period, LOL. Trying to lose 30 pounds, is this the best way to start out if your goal is to just get the fat off? Haven't started any weight training or anything. So, Adria, thank you for your question. Now, I'm going to answer in a very simple way. We're going to talk about the first 10 pounds, the first 10 pounds of your weight loss journey, as opposed to the last 10 pounds, which inches you closer and closer to the perfect physique you visualize for yourself. Now, the first 10 pounds is going to come off rapidly once you make a discernible lifestyle change. What does that mean? Once you stop polluting your body, once you stop harming your body, once you stop um, adding obstacles for your body to battle with on the route to health and fitness. Most people struggle not with, with, with adding exercise or eating salads. Most people will do that to a, a pretty large degree. The biggest issue most people have is stopping stopping the things that are holding them back. It's not adding more things, adding healthy things. Most people will add the healthy things. You, Miss Adria, and many, many millions of others out there simply struggle when it comes to the elimination of the bad habits that brought you to this place to begin with. That's where the first 10 pounds come. It doesn't matter what your calorie intake is. It doesn't matter what your macro ratio is. It doesn't matter what fit tea or car blocker you might be consuming. It doesn't matter if you walk, if you jog, if you cycle, if you row, if you crossfit, if you do Zumba. That doesn't matter for the first 10 pounds. What matters is intentional action. And the first thing I want you to do is eliminate all the poison, all the toxic chemicals, all the toxic people and situations from your life. It sounds so simple, right? A lot of my peers, they, 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 they grimace when I start talking because I wipe away a lot of the, the hocus pocus to nutrition. The most important thing is the intentionality of your actions to start thinking better, thinking healthier, making better, healthier choices, removing the negative, removing the drain. Your ship is sinking right now. You're, you're taking on vast amounts of water. So let's stop that first. Let's stop the bleeding, right? Let's stop the sinking ship first before we can start adding all these new low intensity, steady state cardiovascular or high intensity interval training or high intensity resistive training. Let, let's, let's not add these acronyms first. So Miss Adria, the first thing I want you to do is stop with all the comfort food. Stop with the late night eating. And I know you do it. I know once you get home, six, seven, eight o'clock at night, you have your dinner and you start to graze. You start to pick. You look for the sweets. You look for the treats. You look for the chips. You look for the crunchy, the salty. We have to stop that. You have to stop that. Most people will eat nearly the same amount of calories in the three hours before they go to bed that they've eaten in the 12 hours prior while being awake and working. Isn't that crazy? Crazy stat. But that's something that you need to be aware of. We need to start eliminating that. I want you to get intentional with your activity. Absolutely. But you going for a 30 or 45 minute walk, yes, it's healthy and beneficial. That will not offset an extra 600, 800, 1200 calories of processed foods that you might be consuming at night. So again, the first 10 pounds will come with this intentional mindset towards making positive choices, positive improvements. Now, you know I want you to drink purified water, fresh brewed teas, black coffee. You know I want you to eat healthful, whole foods, four meals per day on average every two to four hours based upon activity. You know I want you to intent or in, in, in intelligently, not intentionally, but intelligently exercise every day, 30 minutes a day, find something you enjoy and stick to it, set a time and stick to it. If there's nothing you enjoy, just go for a walk. And from there, you will find something you enjoy, whether it's resistance, whether it's group fitness, whether it's, it's Peloton, uh, whether it's, it's playing basketball, whatever it might be, you will find this and you will, will, you know, gravitate towards this. But it's 30 minutes a day. 
I need you to eliminate stress from your life. I need you to re remove stressful people, toxic people. I need you to remove stressful circumstances in your life that you may be suffering with. I need you to get your bills paid on time. I need you to start educating yourself, improve your skills so you can start to get better jobs, higher paying jobs, giving you more of your life back because now you have more of this, this capital, this financial capital to work with. We need to build space between where you are right now and your debtors and your creditors. Right? That, that's really what we need to be focused on to eliminate all this stress, allowing you to fully express who you are. Now, this is just step one. This is easy. I'll, I'll add more videos just like this, Miss, Miss Adria, to kind of answer and, and carry on your question. But the first 10 pounds is easy. The first 10 pounds is by far the easiest. You're going to lose that through, through water weight, through inflammation, through digestive inefficiency. You can lose 10 pounds. Now, anyone who follows our three weeks to shredded program, you probably lose somewhere between six and 10 pounds in the first week. You can go to the dolcediet.com right now if you wanted a structured, successful, efficient, proven, time-honored, healthy weight loss program. This is the three weeks of shredded program at the dolcediet.com. If you wanted that specific nutrition intake with a personalized exercise program, it's all there for you. That's there for you, waiting for you. For those of you who want that cheat sheet, you want that GPS, it's waiting for you. But in the meantime, start with the, the advice that I just gave you. I guarantee you it will work. And then I'll put another video and we'll talk about the next 20. So pounds, maybe a pounds 11 through 20. They're the first 10 we got. And then we're going to talk about pounds 11 through 20. And we're going to, I'm going to say for this series, you're 40 pounds overweight. All right. With most people that we come across, they say they're 20 pounds. Over. I got to lose 15 to 20 pounds. No, it actually works out to be about 40 pounds or so. 40 pounds is the average weight loss people need to simply not just to get to their visual goal, to get back into healthy um, BMI ratios. And we'll talk about that in a later video. So Miss Adria, thank you for your question. Guys and gals, if you have any questions, leave them below this video. I'm happy to answer them. And until next time, boom.